Hey, Sneaky Linux back, and tonight we're looking at Simplicity Linux 9.10 Alpha. Bit of a change from the last one, based on f Puppy 4.2 this time. So you've got some widgets over here on the right hand side, but we're not going to really look at that, and we're not going to delve into Puppy completely. We're just going to go over the desktop. Under Office, we have Happy Bird, Gene Merrick, Google Dots, and Osmo. No, I'm not going to open Happy Bird. We'll leave that closed, it does work, I've tried it. So that's a nice little section. The next section we're going to look at is games. Now you know Puppy comes with some games anyway, but these games he's put here are online web games. So that's a bit of a deviation from a lot of others. I'll just open one up. No, it's not a porn site. That's just an advert, apparently. And here we have our 3D chess. Works perfectly well. I've used Flash games online for ages and ages and ages. So yeah, that all works. That's all hunky-dory. We'll come out of him. And we'll go over here. A couple more games here, aren't you? We'll close them up and we'll go to another section, I think. Media. Yes, we'll go to the media section. Now, here we've got quite a lot. We've got Jamando, Stream Tuner. There's touchscreen info there because he intends to develop it into a touchscreen device, so all the info is there if you want to look at it. So there's quite a few options there. It's not bad. It all runs nice and smoothly. It's not too bad. It's a lot better than the last one, I was thinking. Here's your P widgets. It's the same as what you get in Puppy anyway, but just packaged differently. So that's nice. Under Internet, under this section, we have... What's that over there? eBuddy. Let's open them up and see what that is. Ah, a bit like Mebo. So that's an online messaging thing online, or on the web, should we say. So you don't have to download a client. Not actually used it yet, so I might give it a go later, see what it's like. So that's not too bad. As you can see, I'm keeping this video pretty short, just for my own sake, I think. Comes with Opera 10 as well, and we have the uh, iBar at the top. It's not too bad, is it? We'll close him down. And next, we'll go to the main menu. Now, this is just a basic puppy menu. It's all here, Amiibo's there, Opera 10, as I was just saying. Now, I've been using Opera 10 for a little while, and it's not too bad, actually, although they do want quite a bit of information out of you to run all the extras for you. It's got the old speed dial page, the standard with Opera. I've put all the ones in there I would use just for a demonstration for you. So that's not too bad, is it really? If you open this little bit up down the side here, it's where you can add all your extras. Now, I've used it on Ubuntu, and some of the extras don't actually work. I've not actually tried it on Simplicity, so I might try that a bit later too. I'll open up the Opera page here, and it just tells you all about Opera 10. Now, it is still in Alpha, or Beta now, I think, actually. So if you want to give it a go, give it a quick download, see what you think. It's a fast web browser, so it's not too bad. So we're coming near the end now. Where should we go next? Back to the menu, I'm just going to show you a bit more of the menu. As I said before, it's the same puppy menu with all the bits and bobs, and I've put GIMP on myself, that loaded all right. Firefox Freeze on there, etc, etc, and all the other stuff that you're used to using Puppy, and what have you. So, on the whole, it's not too bad at all. Now, on the bad side, we do still have this problem with shutdown and reboot, etc, etc. It just don't want to play ball, but I hope Mr P is going to get that sorted for the beta release, and I will actually install it on a netbook to see how it runs properly. So that'd be good. So sneaky Linux out.